Okay. Hog trap. Let me shine around right quick. Let you see what's going on. We got a cornfield right here. And uh, I've got a cage in the back of my my buggy here. Let me get this camera set back up. I'm going to set it up where you can kind of somewhat see what's going on. All right, what I'm going to attempt to do is take this pole that I've made, a piece of pipe. Most of you know what this is. It's got a handle on there. Cables run all the way through. It's fastened back at this one end down here. And this is my safe way of handling this coon. The reason I don't just dispatch him, I want to trap him this fall. So I'm going to attempt to get him out of here. Um, I feel like I can, but I got two dogs here that's about as scared of the coon as they are anything else. They, that's a squirrel dog. And the other one is just a, I don't know, a leg biter. But um, I don't know how they gonna react with this coon. But what I did, I put a, this is my hog trap. And I can catch usually two or three at a time in here. So that's why I'm setting it instead of foot traps or whatever else. I'm uh, But I, I, I want to trap him this fall, this middle of July. Obviously, I don't want fur. Fur's not. I mean, he actually looks like he's got a decent coat on him, but it's not, I'm not going to attempt to fool with it right now. Uh, I had a hide that I tried to tan here just last week that I uh, had saved. It had dried out, and I had it hanging up in the shed, and I just decided to tan it to make me a, a forearm grip on one of my muskets. So I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to get him out and relocate him somewhere. And uh, just for the sake of maybe I get to trap him this fall, uh, I enjoy trapping, so I'm not really interested in just killing for the sport of it, but no, I don't have a problem with it. If he if he starts acting up and it's going to be more trouble than worth, I got a 22 pistol and I'll dispatch him. So let's see how this goes. I got me a stick right here that I'm going to prop this up with. Now, he could very possibly get away. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. If he does, I'll, he'll be back in here tonight probably, or maybe he'll at least go and leave my corn patch alone. That's all I'm after. If I can keep him out of my corn patch, I'm good with it. Now, this could get interesting, so he's back here in this corner, so it looks like he's cozy and minding his own business. Got him when he lunged for me. <laughs> hey, Roscoe! Quit! Uh, he is not happy. And I'm trying to get the door latched now without getting my finger bit off. Well, guys, that was a little more excitement than I need to handle for one afternoon. I knew with the dogs it was going to be interesting. 
he did not want to let me get my hands and get that noose around his neck. He kept taking his paws and pushing it down. So anyway, we're going to turn him loose somewhere. I'm going to show you how I reset this trap right quick. If I can show you, I don't know if you can see this trigger mechanism or not. I'll lay my prop stick. What I've got right here, this comes down. It's run through a pulley in the back. I'm gonna have to get in there and uh, I'm gonna have to get in here and fix my. No danger. I can uh, get myself out if it was to trip with me in here. Easy enough. I can pick that dough up. Bad thing about catching coons in this this particular trap and I built this trap is the fact that they get in there and get to pulling on that cable. Okay. Anyway, it runs through a pulley in the back back there. I'm gonna raise this door on up. I've got me a small groove. Let me take this camera out. Small groove in this, and this is pinned. You can see this cable, it goes back. There's a pulley back there. And it goes down to that ramp on the floor. Now what I'm doing is I'm just simply putting some shell corn. Not liking me at all. So anyway, this is just some corn on the cob. It's all about shaking the video all around camera. Anyway, what I do, throw it right back in there up on there. He'll get it. Thank y'all for watching.